just as known as the CH gang in Brazil, <laughs> who loves to abuse YouTube structure. Woody was a highlight of many a Brazilian childhood. So let's take a look at his first appearance. Ironically, his first appearance got the name The Woodpecker Attacks Again in Brazil. Makes sense considering the story in the short, but maybe the original Knock Knock is better for not spoiling one of the first jokes. And the Perna and his father are at home when they hear someone knocking and the dad goes to get the door, but there's no one. And again, and again. Until Papa Perna gets angry and rips the door out of the frame, breaking it in two when it happens yet again. Before that, we have Andy Panda, who was the star, before the woodknower showed up, asking if throwing salt on a bird's tail could help someone get it. And his dad asked him to be quiet, because he needed to pay attention to which horse he should bat on. Mmm, buns. My favorite. And yes, there are drugs and dermatitis jokes. This is from 1940. No one thought that cartoons are for children. After the door, Andy points out it's the woodpecker on the roof and we see sawdust falling on Papa Panda's nose. Guess who? And that's probably why Woody says Guess who? At the start of each of his cartoons. Laugh, roof from far away, and after using his board against the plus size panda, um, no, Woody's cornered by him now with a shotgun, which doesn't work, until the woodpecker takes it and tests it. He goes away, the weapon recoils on the panda, with a boot even. The plunked panda appears poor, but it's imperative to support the separate topper's prolonged plunge, progressing in comparable procedure. Andy, in turn, tries the salt, being intimidated by the screwy woodpecker to the end of the roof, who then deflates playing bagpipes with his beak and lungs. I must say, I really like this crazier version of Woody, from showing how it's practically a pickaxe that woodpecker had. <laughs> no, I don't mean... I've still got a woody woodpecker. No! <laughs> he seems capable of anything, not unlike many characters. But he really seems more interested in having fun than in causing damage or getting what he wants. He's the Joker if he was more of an anti-hero. If he'd really been angry, he could have attacked the petite panda post persiflage and pretending putting spice on the prolonged appendix. Explosive pigeon wiggles. She kisses, perforating trees, he kisses, and boom. That's why we can't have sex bots. Just imagine how many would go sky high. Some try salt, but he gets it into his root beer? Was that a thing? Well, I do like salt on watermelon, so... Running around the chimney until Woody turns up under Dad's bowler hat, aggravates him, is caught, and drags the panda with him, dragging also a lawnmower and passing by a visual joke that's quite interesting. And he knocks them down with a pallet, fall, the sun throws plenty of salt on his tail, and it works, making him desperate and cutting to the end. Unless you've seen the original. Apparently, ever since its first showing on TV, the short is cut short. There's no confirmation that it's done simply for time, or if it be for censorship. In the original ending, two woodpeckers show up ready to take him to the loony bin, saying he and his whole family are totally batty, and then act like him to end the short. It could have been just to shorten the short they'd show on the screen, or some might ruminate the master Ben Hardaway formulated and made the mockery impending when came to manufacture the movie Daffy Duck and Egghead. Maybe their alarms, Warner might determine the film is their dominion? Anyways, it's a bit dated. At the time, it certainly was more interesting seeing Papa Panda falling, perhaps the woodpecker making clubs as well? If they are club, I'm not really sure. As a whole, I don't think it's bad. I prefer the buddy Woody to various adventures where he seems to not do anything. Of course, there are those who found him ugly, and the studio seems to have agreed. But it feels like a good introduction for the character of Walter the Lance that so much on. 